You can watch the best parts of this series at MedCircle.com. What is not dementia? Yeah, and this is important because as frightening as dementia is, as you wrote that down when you were a child, mm -hmm. people worry about it. I worry about it. You worry about it. I, I got to be honest. If I lose my keys, I say to myself, oh my God. Like, Don't you though? Do I have a cognitive problem, right? I get so, it. So people worry about it. So it's important to understand what is not dementia, even for family members that are noticing something in their mom, dad, or spouse, or, or family member for that matter, what is not dementia? Okay, so normal aging. Normally, as we age, we start to have some difficulties with memory. Our brain is not as efficient in the memory department. So we are going to forget things. Our working memory is gonna be a little bit delayed. So. If we have distractions, we're gonna be distracted a little bit easier as we're older, right? Um, but we're gonna remember the important life events. We're gonna remember biographical information about ourselves. Um, we're gonna be able to take on daily tasks without too much difficulty all the way through our lives. Okay, that's normal aging. Mm -hmm. There's something very important called delirium. Delirium is often confused with dementia and I treat delirium all the time in the hospital. The difference is this, delirium is temporary. Delirium is a cognitive impairment, a memory impairment, a sensorium impairment that is caused by something that usually resolves, okay? That could be a medication side effect, it could be a bad infection, it could be another physical process happening. And as we age, we're more likely to have a simple infection like a urinary tract infection or a pneumonia cause cognitive disturbance. So if someone's in the hospital, your mom or your dad or an elderly family member or a friend is in the hospital and they don't know where they are and, and they're super confused, people go, oh my God, is this dementia? It's probably unlikely. It has a very fast onset. And usually when that medical picture clears up, they return to baseline. So there is a cure for delirium. Yeah, we could use the word cure. As okay. your body sort of regains itself, you get back to baseline. So sort of the way that you think about this is delirium is temporary and it's caused by something else and it has what's called a waxing and waning presentation. You have periods of lucidity and periods of significant confusion. Mm -hmm. Usually only lasts days to weeks and clears up. Now that's delirium. Got it. You know, Kyle, something super important that I want to bring up today, too, is depression, okay? So what is not dementia? In the elderly population, depression can present as something called, in the medical community, pseudo-dementia, believe it or not, because in the elderly, severe depression can present with cognitive side effects, forgetfulness, difficulties undergoing daily tasks, poor care, poor self-care, not bathing or caring for yourself. And you may think that that's dementia, when in fact it's not. It's depression. Wow. It's depression. And then, of course, ruling out the medical stuff. Thyroid conditions can look like cognitive impairment, like, like depression. Um, vitamin deficiencies in certain circumstances can present as a dementia, like B vitamin deficiencies, folate, thiamine, uh, that sort of thing can present. So we have to rule all of that out. So that is, those are the not dementia. I'm really glad you brought that up. Yeah. That, that is, first of all, I didn't even know that dementia was the umbrella term. Yep. I thought they were two separate things, yep. dementia and Alzheimer's. Um, and I had no idea about the depression thing. Yeah. That's gonna open a lot of people's eyes. It's a eyes. big deal. Thanks for watching. Your next step is to go to medcircle.com and finish watching this series. There you can also access other series and get actionable advice and simple explanations. Continue your mental health journey at medcircle.com and I'll see you there.